Hello everybody, welcome back to our tutorial on Flutter, Firebase and Firestore. My name is Chidi Ebere. In, this, in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how to add sub collection, how to delete documents, as well as how to delete a, doc, a record or a field in a, doc, in a particular document. So this is a continuation of our uh, tutorial, which uh, we've been doing for some time now. You can check out the playlist on Flutter, Firebase, and Firestore to see where we started and uh, how far we've gone. So I've gone ahead to create my uh, project before now. It's a simple UI with only one button that automatically triggers whatever command that we assign to it. This is the button, a single button, and it automatically, we assign a command to it, we click on it, and it automatically update i've gone ahead to start the project and uh just a quick reminder uh you have to have your fire uh, your firebase application set up you will need to have your firestore uh database set up as well you need to have your uh google services.json and you need to import these two uh packages for you to be able to uh get along with us in this tutorial so we start first by adding a sub collection to our Firebase database. I went ahead to create these users and the record are added dynamically, hence why their document ID is having a long string such as this. So this was done in our previous tutorial. So in our tutorial today, we'll be looking at how to add sub collection. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and uh, start up this tutorial. So I want to create a method that will, will, we will trigger by clicking on this button and then add our collection and sub collection. So we call it a add sub collections. Then um, this. So before now, I've gone ahead to, I've gone ahead to define an instance of my fire store here. So that's this instance, I will be calling it here, fire store instance dot collection. And I specify the collection, which is users. And then uh, I want to add a new record to the users. And uh, what do I want to add? I want to add name and I call it uh, Maria. And uh, I want to add age. Uh, let's make Maria a young lady by giving her 24. And uh, I want to add email. I have uh, something like Maria at gmail.com. And uh, I want to add address. So all this field, all this value I'm passing here, you can actually pass it through uh, a test field. You can pass it through a test field, assuming you have a widget, which is a test field. You can uh, actually pass the test in the test field to this. So here I'm going to add uh, something like this, uh, street 24. And then uh, I have uh, city. I want to cascade, add two values or two fields to the address. So I have a city and um, let's say Lagos. So uh, with this done, we want um, to add a condition to it that if this is uh, added successfully, then it should run this second command. It should get the value 
which is the, the value here is the ID of the document. And then it should, it should first of all print, let's first of all print the value of the document of the document so that the ID of the document so that we'll be sure of uh, what it is and what we are working with. So I use the instance of Firestore again. And this time I add collection and instead of using under user users, I have a uh, I have users dot documents okay dot doc and then want to reference the value the ID where we want to add it the sub collection and then we create a collection again and uh, we call it pets and then uh, we now add the values which we want in our collection and these values will appear in form of uh, a list of item so i have pet name i have a uh, lucky oh, sorry it's a string i have a uh, lucky and then i have a uh, pet type uh, what pet do we use i have a uh, dog let's call it dog and then uh what else pet age um let's say let's just put one simple value and then i close this here so this is how what this simply means is that we are adding uh, a record to this collection users and once this is added successfully we are going to get the record ID, which is this, and then use this record ID to create a new collection. Instead of fields, we'll create a new collection, and that collection will use the instance of the ID to create a, a collection called pet, and then we'll add the fields to it. So let's go ahead and uh, and do this. Let me let me copy this method and assign it to our button here, our on press. So with this, um, I refresh and then let's see what happens in this place. So I click on this. You see what happened, it added a new field for me here this is the field you just added so let's go back and see what happened in our console okay first of all it did all this it assessed my firebase and at the end this is the id which we told it to print to print the value of the id which is what we added here so this is the value 3x x so let's go back to our this and this is it here. So this is the field which we added for this Maria. Under address, we have uh, two fields called city and street. And uh, we also have a collection, a sub collection called pets. So under these pets, we have this, uh, it's auto generated using this. And we have this here. So that's this uh, how to add uh, a particular uh, sub collection to a collection. Let me call it that. So the next thing we we'll want to do is uh, to delete. Um, let's try and delete a document. Let's try and delete this document. Let's look at how to delete this document. So I have another field is called void delete document so i have this and uh, here 
I say var. Do I want to delete uh, this? Okay. Um, let's say I know the ID of what I want to delete. Assuming I don't know the ID, we can use Firebase Authentication to get the ID of the user and use the ID of the user to, uh, to track that particular uh, record, to track the particular record. So for this particular um, one, since we don't, we already know what the ID is from, sorry, from this place, we can easily copy it and pass it to where we want to delete it. So instead of doing a variable, we do Firestore instance dot collection uh, dot users dot document but, uh, okay, this is where we want, have to pass this particular uh, document ID. So, we'll just copy this and uh, we pass it to this place. And once passed here, we say delete. So, once this is complete, we want to go ahead and confirm if it's deleted. If it's deleted, then um, no need to get the value. So we can just add something like this and then add our condition statement. And then we can print delete successful. So with this, we can delete this document here under the collection user, this particular one here. So with this, let's go ahead and copy this uh, method and add it uh, here, delete document. So we refresh. Okay, it's refreshed. So we go over to this place and uh, we execute command and see what happens automatically deletes it and let's go over to our record here and then we will have it uh, delete successful so the next one we will be looking at is what void delete field delete field so um, for us to delete a field, what do we need? We need to know the ID and the name of the field we want to delete. Actually, we are not deleting it. What we are doing is to update. The, we can either update the value of the field by removing the value inside, or we can use a field value dot delete. So this is how. Let's go ahead and uh, add a. Uh, Add this collection again. Let's add a sub collection. Copy. Let's add it again. Let's add it here and uh, refresh and come over here and then execute this command so it can add it for us. Sorry. Oh, what's happening? So I refresh it and then over to this place. I let me see what I added. Add some collections. Okay. Fail to resolve name statues. Okay, there is something is happening. All right. Um Let's see. I uh, hope my internet is still working. Okay, looks like my internet has been disconnected over here. That's why I can't access it. Uh, just a moment. Let me connect back. All right. 
we are good to go. So um, let's refresh this and hope it works out fine. So most times uh, debugging, you have to look at uh, so many things when it comes to debugging. And uh, oh, I'm having issues again. I'm having issues again. So um, let me try and see if I can fix this stuff. My internet is off and uh, I still cannot access this. I'm having trouble accessing my Firestore. But okay, while we are waiting for it, let's go ahead and, uh, and try to create our field or the meeting field. So, for this field now, what we need to do is uh, we do this, we do Firestore instance dot collection dot what collection users collection and then we do uh, doc then the name of the document Okay, let's assume that this is the document here. We'll copy this document and uh, have it inside here. Let's, uh, if we don't know the name of the document, then uh, let's assume we are using the user, the Firebase user ID, user UID. So we can do updates and then we can run this. And uh, let's close this here. And then we have, what do we want to update? We have username, username, uh, username, and what do we want to do with the username? We want to do the field value, we want to do what? Delete the field value. So if we add a condition that if this is successful, then what do we want to do? want to print print field deleted successfully so this is what we want to add so what happens is that it will look for this username i don't know why my internet is still having issues but uh you can try it out once you run this it will automatically pick the field which you are referring to and it will automatically go to this particular uh, uh, field, username, and it will delete whatever is in that place. The value will, it will return null whenever you call it. It will not return an empty string or any other thing. It will return null because there is no value inside of it. So um field value dot delete so that's all for now in our next tutorial we will be looking at uh how to retrieve data from firestore and also how to retrieve sub collections and as well as retrieving documents so see you in our next tutorial bye for now